and good evening, everyone, on this beautiful day. I am Dr. Flora in the WHUT studio, high atop the Burger King on Poplar Avenue. Thanks for joining me. You know, driving to work today, a billboard caught my eye, and billboards really can distill so well what's really important in life. In this workaday world, I've got to agree with this billboard that it's important that we all stop, from time to time, and ask the important question. Got milk? So, let's take our first caller. Oedipus from Thebes, you're on the air with Dr. Flora. Yes, hello. You're on the air, Oedipus. Oh, oh, okay. Great. Hi, Dr. Flora. Thanks for taking my call. I've got you on speakerphone. I hope that's okay. No problem. What's your question? Well, I've had this problem for a while, now. It's really beginning to bother me. I was hoping you could help. Well, if I can't, I can prescribe something that can. Great. The thing is, an oracle predicted that I'd kill my father. I see. You want to know if you should believe this oracle? Oh, no. I mean, it's a very good oracle. The Delphi Oracle, you know. Oh, I see. If it had been the Syracuse Oracle, I wouldn't have paid any attention. Sure. And the Milwaukee Oracle. Forget about it. Right. And you want to know how to avoid this fate? Um, no. Actually. You see, well, I... I already killed him. You did? Yeah, he was standing in the middle of the road shouting like a maniac. So I cut him in half with a Spartan broadsword. I see. And now you were overcome with guilt. Oh, no. No. Not at all. I hated his guts. He put a pin through my foot and gave me up for dead, after all. Pissed me off, really. So what is your question? Well, now I'm in hiding. The FBI is hunting me down. But I don't think this is really my fault. I mean, the Oracle's face should have been on America's Most Wanted last night. Not mine. Now, listen, Ed. Normally, I would tell you that you have to take responsibility for your actions. You know what I mean, Ed? Yeah. Sure. You know that you're the one who does what you do. But think about it, Ed. He gave you away as an infant. He put a spike through your heel. He told a stranger to kill you. He never called you. Did he ever show up at one of your baseball games? No. Was he there when you graduated? No. Was he there when you got married? Well, now, that's another problem. Wah wah. One thing at a time, Ed. Did this man you killed ever even send you a postcard? Um, no. Precisely. Come on, Ed. You didn't kill your father. That shepherd who loved you. Who fed you. Who changed your diapers. Who helped you get your driver's license. Who made me sleep with goats until I was 12 and then enlisted me in the Spartan army. Right. That shepherd is your father, Ed. Oh, right. Okay. That's a load off my mind. Thanks, Dr. Flora. You're very welcome, Ed. Oh, wait. Does this mean I have to go kill the shepherd? Because the oracle said it killed my father, and they don't have that sword, anymore. You don't have to kill anyone, Ed. That's a relief. Oh, one more thing. It's about my wife. Ed, wait. If you're a regular listener, then you know my mantra about wives. How does the mantra go, Ed? If you want a cherry life, a carefree home and happy wife, remember, your bride is not just a lover, and treat her as you would your mother. But that's just the problem. Oh, sorry, Ed. My producer is telling me that we have to take a break. Thanks for listening. Please stay tuned. When we come back, we'll take a call from Lizzie Borden. <laughs> 